Okay, so we're going to check out how the flu sp spread at Memorial, and we've got an equation for this. Uh, P of t equals 100 over 1 plus e to the 3 minus t power. So we want to estimate the number of students infected, the initial number of students infected with the flu. And when we do that, basically what this means is we want to know what's going on on that very first start day. So when, when this is at t equals 0, okay? When t equals 0, that's that's when we can figure out how many kids were initially caught with the flu. After, uh, how fast was the flu spreading after three days? This guy is going to be dp dt because that's going to be our rate of change and then when t is equal to three days. And so that'll get us the next uh, the next answer. And then to find when the flu is spreading at its maximum rate, we want to look for the maximum point on the graph, and we'll use our graphing calculators for that. So we'll check that out in just a second. But anyway, the initial number of kids infected with the flu, we're going to just take this T right here, and we're going to make it a 3. So P of, I'm sorry, P of 0, not P of 3, P of 0. And we're going to have 100 over 1 plus e to the third power minus zero and when you go ahead and punch this into your calculator and and when you do that the first the the nearest whole number when you punch all that in is going to be three. Oh, sorry five my big beefy fingers so when you punch this into your calculator you're gonna get five so here's here's a right here there are five students infected on day one okay day two then is derivative time so so we take our p of t and watch this I'm gonna rewrite this guy I wanna make it 100 times 1 plus e to the 3 minus t power to the negative 1 that's the same thing as our original equation but it's a heck of a lot easier to take the derivative of and and so um, when I when I do this, uh, I'm going to have you know dp dt, and uh, that's going to be negative one times a hundred, okay, times and then one plus e to the three minus t power to the negative two, and then times the derivative on the inside okay so when I take the derivative on the inside that's gonna be 0 plus e to the 3 minus t times and then take the derivative of the 3 minus t part which is negative 1 so that's that's a big derivative that's a big derivative but here's your you've got to chain out the inside of this and then you've got to chain out this guy so that that's where those things are coming from so what's my uh, what's my derivative going to be my rate of change of the flu with the population over time is 100 times e to the 3 minus t times 1 plus e to the 3 minus t negative 2. And if you want to, you can put the negative 2 guy on the bottom. But if we're going to punch it into our calculator, uh, then it, it doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot where he's, where he's sitting. Okay, so to answer the last part of the question, uh, what we want to do is, is check out part C. So when does the flu spread at its maximum rate? When does the flu spread at its maximum rate? Well, remember, when we're looking at our derivative, that is the rate of change. And so um, we're looking for, then, a maximum value of the derivative. Okay? And so what we're going to do, then, is go ahead and graph our equation of derivative and put that on your calculator. And when you do that, 
we'll find the maximum value of it. And when we find that maximum value, we will find the rate that we're growing. And so let's do that right now. So on your Inspire, we're going to choose to add a graph. And for f of x, we're going to go with uh, 100 e to the 3 minus x power. And then parentheses, 1 plus e to the 3 minus x. close your parentheses and all of that to the negative 2. So here's your graph and wow it goes it goes way up there so let's let's change that window whoops and let's see what if we go out to Perfect. So here's our graph, and we, what we want to do is is find the max value of that. So we're going to analyze this graph for a maximum, and we're going to tell it to start and stop. And so we get a maximum value of 325. Well, what does that mean? So over here. got our picture. And so what we've what we've learned then is that our flu bug is growing fastest at this point. Well, what does that mean? Well, the first coordinate is going to be the um, the number of of days that we're on and the second coordinate the second coordinate is how fast okay so to answer part C we would say that when T is equal to 3 which is the third day then the number of students affected uh, would be 25 students per day. So then that P of T would be 25 students per day. And that's the fastest rate that it's growing. So a few steps, but not horrible. You can do it.